hey guys hello everyone welcome to this session so here we are going to discuss some very important name uh, reactions in the topic asymmetric synthesis now asymmetric synthesis in itself is a very broad topic and there are many applications to the reactions that we already know right so i am just going to use the concept of diastereoselectivity i want you all to understand diastereoselectivity this is nothing new you have already seen the diastereoselectivity in the reactions where you got one product major and another one minor so major and minor products when you are getting and the two major and minor products are diastereomers to each other that is diastereoselectivity okay so we are going to use this concept of diastereoselectivity and get some enantio selective reactions okay so let's understand asymmetric synthesis how it is applicable to organic synthesis right chalo let's start the discussion now there are many reaction many different ways how we can induce chirality into our pro into our reactions so let's see the first thing is when the substrate is chiral in itself when the substrate itself is chiral so we have already seen a lot of such reactions when we uh, actually had let's say this uh, molecule this aldehyde on which uh, on the aldehyde you already had some let's say abc groups over here so when the nucleophile attacks on the aldehyde over here it's going to give you two different diastereomers all right uh, in which one of them is going to be the major one to wo jo selectivity hai that we got from the cramps rule all right and that is a diastereo selective reaction it's going to give you two uh, different stereoisomers to each other so that is one kind of selectivity another kind of selectivity that we can induce in our synthesis is when a chiral fragment is attached to our normal substrate when the substrate itself is not chiral when but when a chiral fragment is attached when the synthesis is done and the chiral fragment is removed once again so this whole process is known as using a chiral auxiliary what is a chiral auxiliary auxiliary is a part which is attached to the molecule all right and we have few examples the three most uh, famous ones are uh, <clears throat> evans oxazolidinone system the samp and the ramp system so all of these are the most popular examples of events uh, of the chiral auxiliary systems and we are going to see shortly how they work and from where they are derived okay now uh, the third is when the catalyst that we are using for synthesis is chiral asymmetric synthesis ya yeah, asymmetric catalysis reactions are sharpless epoxidation you might have heard about this very popular dihydroxylation cbs reduction hydrolytic kinetic resolution all of these are using a chiral catalyst to finally induce chirality in the reaction now looking just you know because uh, this field is a little bit new to all of you then you might be a little bit scared and nervous about what this topic is going to tell us but eventually it is going to turn out to be very conceptual and very easy to understand let's move onwards so i just want you all to start with a simple diel solder reaction now till now we have focused more on the prod how the products are going to be obtained we haven't focused on the reaction that as a whole what is the character of the reaction we haven't thought about that isn't it we know ki chalo theek hai this is our uh, dienophile it is because ye yahan pe ek electron withdrawing group hai and this is going to react with a diene like this cyclopenta diene it is going to give us the major endo product okay why does it give you the major endo product because of the secondary interactions yes that also you know but what is the character of the reaction the characteristic of the reaction is you are starting with the a chiral dienophile there is no chirality in this dienophile it is a chiral absolutely you start with the a chiral dienophile you also react it with the a chiral diene and then you expect the reaction to be chiral nahi aisa expect nahi kar rahe hain but yeah let's see how it goes there are two ways in which this group can attach as i said we always prefer one convention of following the diastereo selectivity what is that that is when we are keeping this electron withdrawing group always beneath the pi electron density i'm writing electron withdrawing group directly because then it is going to have the secondary interaction अब इसको इलेक्ट्रॉन विद्रॉइंग ग्रुप को एंडो रखने का क्या मतलब है 
वॉट इज एंडो एंडो इज बीनीथ द पाई इलेक्ट्रॉन क्लाउड और बेसिकली एंडो इज वेन यू आर हैविंग द इलेक्ट्रॉन विद ड्रॉइंग ग्रुप इंटरक्टिंग विद द पाई इलेक्ट्रॉन क्लाउड अब हमारा नॉर्मल कन्वेंशन यही था दिस वॉज अवर कन्वेंशन दैट वी आर कीपिंग द डाई इनो फाइल बिलो द डाई इन वॉट इफ आई कीप द डाई इनो फाइल अब द डाई इन एंड देन इफ आई कीप इट एंडो लाइक दिस दिस इज ऑल्सो एंडो ओके दिस इज ऑल्सो एंडो इवन इफ आई एम कीपिंग द डाइनो फाइल अब ये वाला कार्बन इससे रिएक्ट करेगा और ये वाला कार्बन इससे रिएक्ट करेगा दिस इज नॉट रॉन्ग दिस इज करेक्ट दिस इज स्टिल एंडो एज लॉन्ग एज द इलेक्ट्रॉन विदड्रॉइंग ग्रुप आर फेसिंग द पाई इलेक्ट्रॉन डेंसिटी सो देर आर टू पॉसिबिलिटीज ऑफ एंडो रिएक्शन इज इन दिट वॉट इज दैट गोइंग टू गिव यू दैट इज गोइंग टू गिव यू टू इन एंशोमर ये देखो द सेम थिंग द डाइन इज अब डाइनोफाइल इज बिलो here the diene is below and the dino phil are above but look at the carbonyl position it is pointing inside the pi electron density and the hydrogen is outside so both of these are the endo possibilities dono ke dono endo possibility hai just like the one that i have drawn okay now these two are going to give you two enantiomers dekho this is the product एंडो डायस्टीरियम इज इज फॉर्म द डायस्टीरियम आर इज स्टिल एंडो ठीक है अभी तक हमने एक्सो की बात ही नहीं करी है सो वन पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ एंडो इज लाइक दिस गिविंग यू दिस प्रोडक्ट अनदर पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ एंडो इज लाइक दिस गिविंग यू दिस प्रोडक्ट वॉट इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन दीज टू मिरर इमेजेस दीज टू आर मिरर इमेजेस टू इच अदर ओके तो ये जो फिफ्टी फिफ्टी परसेंट मिक्सचर बना है यहाँ पे इन एंशोमर्स का दैट इज ओनली बिकॉज The डील सोल्डर रिएक्शन इज अ डायस्टीरियो सिलेक्टिव रिएक्शन दैट इज इट ओनली सिलेक्ट बिटवीन द एंडो एंड द एक्सो एक्सो नहीं बनेगा एंडो बनेगा दैट इज द सिलेक्टिविटी ऑफ अ डील सोल्डर रिएक्शन बट वंस वी हैव गॉट द एंडो प्रोडक्ट वी नो दैट देर आर टू पॉसिबिलिटीज यहाँ पे दो D और L कंपाउंड मिलने वाले हैं व्हाट आर डीएनएल डेक्सट्रो रोटेटरी एंड लेबो रोटेटरी व्हाट इफ वी सम हाउ एड सम काइरल मॉलिक्यूल या सम काइरल एंटिटी टू द डाइनो फाइल और डाइन व्हाट एवर ओवर हियर इन दोनों में से एक को हमने काइरल बना दिया देन द रिएक्शन इज गोइंग टू बिकम इनशियो सिलेक्टिव देन द रिएक्शन इज ओनली गोइंग टू फेवर आइदर द डेक्सट्रो और द लेवो तो हम क्या कर रहे हैं we are using the concept we are actually utilizing the concept of diastereo selectivity to further filter down the isomers that we are getting to pehle to humne endo aur exo mein filter kiya kyunki hame pata hai exo hi endo hi milega yahan pe major endo is going to be major we know that now endo mein se filter kiya d and l mein se dono mein se ek banega if we induce chirality so let's see how we do that okay so first of all if we want to understand chirality what is the chiral auxiliary that we were talking about humne bola tha na chiral auxiliary ek unit hota hai a unit a chiral unit which can be connected to the molecule and uh, do the chiral reaction enantio selective reaction and then you remove it okay to wo kahan se banta hai so it will be very expensive if we try to create it from scratch so what we do is we have a lot of chiral molecules in nature you know nature is a pool of chiral molecules to jo ye chiral pool hai ye kuch bhi nahi hai ye nature's chiral uh, center hai off the shelf matlab jo pade hain unhi mein se utha liya humne theek hai so we did not create anything new we had a lot of chiral molecules in nature for example the amino acids all of them we have a lot of amino acids which we can separate from natural sources जैसे कि ये देखो S प्लस एलानीन S वैलिन S माइनस फिनाइल एलानीन S माइनस प्रोलीन S प्लस सेरीन S प्लस एसपार्टिक एसिड S प्लस ग्लूटामिक एसिड ठीक है सो वट डू आई सी इज आई सी दैट ऑल ऑफ द एसिड्स अमीनो एसिड्स आर S ओवर हियर ठीक है तो ये हम वैलिन को पकड़ते हैं चलो लेट्स टेक वैलिन ओवर हियर एंड लेट्स सी इफ वी कैन मेक अ कैरल ऑक्सिलरी आउट ऑफ इट सो वैलिन रिमेंबर वैलिन हैज अ वी वी मींस ये जो यहाँ पे आइसोप्रोपाइल ग्रुप है विच इज द साइड चेन ग्रुप दैट इज 
uh, going to characterize this amino acid as valine as valine so we are taking the s valine how did the s valine look like s valine looked actually like this it is going to be a cooh and this is going to be the nh2 what are you going to do you are going to check ye s hai ki nahi hai right just check so first priority below the plane second priority like this third over here fourth priority above so one two three is a clockwise rotation but h is present above the plane so it is s valine correct so we started with the s valine aapko pata hi hai what is the bh3 going to do bh3 is going to reduce the carboxylic acid into alcohol to ye kya ban gaya hai it is alpha beta beta amino alcohol it has become a beta amino alcohol now this beta amino alcohol is going to be reacting with the uh, uh diethyl carbonate molecule okay so the amine as well as the oh are going to replace both of the ethoxy obviously one by one and it is going to form a cyclic ring which has a ketone which has amine which has oxygen isi ko hum bolte hain oxa azole azolidinone oxa for an oxygen azole for a five member ring having nitrogen on is for the carbonyl so this is evans oxazolidinone particular name is evans oxazolidinone and this is derived from s valine which is a natural amino acid from the nature okay ab isko hum connect karenge ye hai hamara chiral auxiliary this is our chiral auxiliary and we can very easily connect it how do we do that let's see chiral auxiliary kaise connect karenge i have a proton on the on the nitrogen तो मैं अगर सोडियम हाइड्राइड ले लू या एनी अदर बेस इट्स गोइंग टू रिमूव दिस प्रोटॉन फ्रॉम ओवर हियर नाइट्रोजन बिकम्स नेगेटिव देन हियर इज माय इलेक्ट्रोफाइल कार्बन पे अटैक किया सीएल माइनस निकल गया एंड दिस इज एग्जैक्टली व्हाट यू गेट बन गया हमारा कायरल ऑक्सिलरी कनेक्टेड टू द मॉलिक्यूल नाउ दिस कार्बन कार्बन डबल बॉन्ड इफ दिस इज सपोज टू बिहेव एज अ डाइनोफाइल इन अ रिएक्शन देन very nicely it can induce uh, selectivity because of the bulky isopropyl group it has theek hai aage chalte hain dekhte hain how it is used so uh, yeah what do we have first of all dekho diels solder reaction mein lewis acid use hota hai so we have the same this is the dienophile molecule this carbon carbon double bond is the dienophile okay and in the presence of lewis acid like et2 alcl what happens is it is going to combine both of the carbonyl in this way isko trap kar liya hai carbonyls ko making the reaction even faster because the carbons are more electrophilic in nature ab now there were two possibilities one was to keep your diene above and the dienophile below the second possibility was keeping the diene below and keeping the dienophile above ab क्योंकि आइसोप्रोपाइल ग्रुप की वजह से बॉटम फेज जो है डाइनोफाइल का दैट इज शील्डेड फ्रॉम द अटैक तो बिलो अटैक इज नॉट पॉसिबल यू हैव ऑलवेज गॉट टू कीप द डाइन अब सो साइक्लोपेंटा डाइन मस्ट अटैक फ्रॉम टॉप फेज दैट मीन्स यूर ओनली गोइंग टू गेट वन सिंगल इन एंड शोमर ठीक है सो वी हैव डन हाउ डील फॉर द रिएक्शन इज डायरियो सिलेक्टिव ये उसका नेचर या कैरेक्टरिस्टिक है रिएक्शन का तो वो क्या देगा एंडो ग्रेटर देन एक्सो देगा ठीक है बट द एंडो हैड टू पॉसिबिलिटीज आफ्टर इंड्यूसिंग कायरलिटी द एंडो मॉलिक्यूल द एंडो इंटरक्शन इज गोइंग टू गिव यू द एंडो प्रोडक्ट व्हिच इज वन सिंगल इनशियोमर ये ओनली वन डायस्टियोमर फॉर्म्ड इनशियोमेरिकली प्योर हाउ गुड इज दैट सिर्फ ये ही बनेगा अब इसको निकाल सकते हैं बाय ब्रेकिंग दिस अमाइंड अमाइड बॉन्ड नाउ दिस इज नॉट अ ट्रू अमाइड बॉन्ड बिकॉज़ द नाइट्रोजन हैज वन मोर कार्बोनिल बट इट इज स्टिल स्ट्रॉन्ग तो इसको हम निकाल सकते हैं बाई वेरियस मेथड ठीक है जैसे कि ये देखो आई है तो अगर एल आई ओ बी एन रियक्ट करता है ओ बी एन माइनस अटैक्स ओवर ह्योर इट इज गोइंग टू बी एलिमिनेटेड वेरी इजिली जस्ट इन दिस वे सिंगल इन एंशमर यू आर गोइंग टू ऑप्टेन ऑल राइट सिंगल इन एंशमर अब देखो वॉट हैपन्स विद द कायरल ऑक्जिलरी it can be recovered and can also be recycled so already the s valine is an amino acid and jo nature mein present hai and it is not very expensive so inexpensive chiral auxiliary used 
एंड इट कैन ऑल्सो भी रिसाइकल्ड फ्रॉम द सिस्टम तो इसका मतलब क्या है और भी ज्यादा रिड्यूस हो गया है रिएक्शन का कॉस्ट सो असिमेट्रिक सिंथेसिस इज डेफिनेटली मोर सिमेट्रिक एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स इट कैन बी डन एट अ लोअर कॉस्ट ऑल्सो सो दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग सो वॉट वी मीन बाई कायरल ऑग्जिलरी स्ट्रैटेजी इज एन इनशियोमेरिकली प्योर कंपाउंड usually derived from a simple natural product like an amino acid is known as a chiral auxiliary jo hame jo nature ke chiral pool mein se lena hai we want to attach it to our molecule do the chiral induction and then remove it is attached to the starting material theek hai a dash stereo selective reaction is carried out which because of the enantiomeric purity of the chiral auxiliary gives only one enantiomer of the product you must have also been able to understand this ki also the dash stereo selectivity because of the chiral induction kyunki humne auxiliary ko use kiya hai isliye ek hi enantiomer banega okay third one the chiral auxiliary is removed by for example hydrolysis leaving the product of the reaction uh as a single enantiomer best chiral auxiliaries of which the example uh, above can be recycled jo humne abhi abhi yahan pe liya hai van soxar zolidimone system this can also be recycled so although so although stoichiometric quantities are needed there is no waste even though high quantities are required but there is no waste at least so you're not wasting it right these are some important points about chiral auxiliary okay 